Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atharva here, and today we are going to see how to use sign in with Ethereum using Third Web. So, what is the difference between sign in with Ethereum and connecting wallet? So, connecting wallet just connects you to the front end side of the application, while sign in with Ethereum also authorizes the back end of that application that hey, you are the right person trying to authorize the request. So, in this video, we are going to use Third Web to achieve this. And Third Web makes this way too easier for us. So, now we are in our terminal and we are going to use Next.js as our front end. So, let's go ahead and create our Next.js application. So, we are going to say npx create next app. And we are going to call this yt eth sign in. So, yeah, this might take some time depending on your computer and depending on your internet connection. So just be patient with this and uh, as we see this is going pretty quickly on our system so let's wait for this perfect now let's go to the directory so cd yt each sign in and here we are going to do code dot to open the visual studio code here let's wait for that now it's here and we need to install some packages i almost forgot about that so let's go ahead and install some packages so yarn add at third web dev slash auth at third web dev slash sdk at third web dev slash react and ethers we need these four packages in order for this to work so at third web dev slash auth will be used on the back end while others will be used on the front end so ethers is a dependency for the sdk so we need to install that as well so let's wait for this to complete meanwhile we can just go to pages and here we can go to index.js and we can just clear everything out from here so let's do that perfect because we will be adding some uh, jsx here so now that the installation is complete let's go ahead and replace this thing with third web provider in app.js so that we cover our entire application in a third web provider so third web provider and inside we will paste this component and here we need to pass in some props so the first prop we need is desired chain id so let's wait for intelligence to load yeah desired chain id and here we need to in import chain id dot you can just put anything uh, we are just going to put mumbai here uh, or you can just go ahead and do mainnet it doesn't really matter in this case um, for some reason my intelligence is very slow today okay so now after this this is done we need to pass in an auth configuration so that it knows how we are dealing with authentication here so auth config and this is an object with a few things so first of all we need an auth url and because we are using next api routes our backend is located in the same domain so we are just going to say slash api slash auth and after that everything is managed by third web and then we need to provide the domain for security purposes so we are just going to say localhost 3000 but when you are deploying this to an actual production environment make sure you replace the domain with the actual domain so yeah and now after this we are going to say login redirect and whatever the redirect url is maybe it's dashboard in your case we are just going to say slash here after this we need to enter our admin private key so you need to have an wallet which can act as an admin of this website and which can help you with authenticate so for that we need to create an environment variable file so that our private keys are safe here so slash dot envs dot local and here we are going to say admin private key and make sure you don't use next public before because that will expose your private key to the front end side so how to get the private key from metamask so let's go into a browser and open up a metamask and here this is asking for a password let's enter the password and after this is done we will be using account to one here and in account one we just go here and we will just say account details and we'll say export private key and we just enter our password here and after we confirm this will give us our private key now note that this account you should never reveal your private key but since this is a test account which i'll be using only for youtube purposes that's why i'm revealing it but 
make like make sure you are not using any real accounts which i hold like real ethereum for these purposes so yeah i'll just paste in the private key here and i'll press save and now let's go back here and first of all we need to create a new api route so we're just going to create a new folder here which is going to be auth and here we are going to create a new file which is dot 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 third web dot js so this is a dynamic route which will help third web get the route and do all the authentication stuff so that we don't need to worry about that so let's go ahead and import some stuff so import third web auth so if doesn't if it doesn't pop up in intellisense right away don't worry because it's uh, uh, the route is not direct so we need to import it from at third web dev auth slash next so from this package we need to import this and after we are done with this we are just going to say export const and we are going to get two things from here and then uh, this will be third web auth i did this so that we can get intelligence to work so now we can just get third web auth handler and get user function from this and now we need to pass in the private key here and we are just going to say process dot env dot admin private key and the domain should be the same so we are going to add the domain localhost 3000 perfect and now we are going to say export default third web auth handler so that this setups all the authentication routes for us so that we don't need to worry about that perfect now that everything is set up notice that in api we have this file under auth and that's the same as we specified in the app.js file here so slash api slash auth that's the route uh, perfect now let's go back to our index.js file and let's go ahead and create some jsx so first of all we will use a hook from third web so const address is equal to use address and this hook will help us get uh, get to know the address or if the user is authenticated or not but in this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to try to get the address from the back end so that we will know that the user is authenticated on the back end if the back end gives us the address so this address here right here which we see on the screen right now is getting the address from the front end from the metamask but we need to try to get the address from back end and that way you can do a lot of different stuff this opens a lot of a lot of opportunities you can store off-chain data and then relate it to the wallet address and then you can perform actions depending if the user is really from that wallet address or not so yeah uh, this is how this thing works now let's go ahead and import another function so const login is equal to use login this will help us login but in this case uh, we don't even need this function but we are still going to use this because we are going to use a component given by third web so we don't need to worry about all of that thing and then we are going to also create a state here so address from server so this will store the address we got from server and then we are going to say set address from server and this will be use state which will be an empty string for now and then we are going to have a connect wallet button here perfect and then we are going to have and then we are going to check if the user's wallet is connected or not actually you know what we are just going to create a button here which will do on click which will do get address from server perfect and now we are going to say get address from server and now what we are going to do is we are going to create a new function with this name so let's do that we are going to say const this is equal to asynchronous function and we are going to need to create a route for this so before we get to this actually we need to create a new api route so we're just going to say get address dot js and here we are going to say export default async async function 
handler and this will have a request and response and here we need to use the get we need to use the get user function which we exported from this file so let's do that so we are going to say const user is equal to await get user and we are going to pass in the request parameter because third web uses cookies and this will enable this to fetch the cookie and return us the values so we are going to say if exclamation mark user so if the user is not defined which means the user is not authenticated then we are going to say return res dot status we are going to use status of 401 and then we are going to say json we are going to say message unauthorized perfect and then we are going to just say rest.json and we are going to say uh, wallet address user dot address perfect and we are using return here because this should stop right here if there is an error so that the execution doesn't move forward perfect so this route is done so now we just go back to our index.js file and we call this route so we will do const response is equal to await fetch slash api slash oh uh, what was that get address and we don't need to send the cookie because third web is actually uh, doing that for us anyway so uh yeah because yeah so let's go ahead and oh we need to do const data is equal to await response dot json now this will give us the json data now we will simply say what should we say here so we'll just oh we need to set the state right so now we'll say set address from server and we are going to say data dot valid address perfect now here we are going to have another div with the wallet address so address from server and we actually should have a try catch here uh, you know what we, we don't need a try catch we can just say if response dot ok is not true then we are just going to return a simple alert not authenticated perfect now let's get this to testing so we will just go to terminal and we'll just say yarn dev perfect now let's go to uh, first let's switch our accounts to account 2 let's go to localhost 3000 uh, our wallet is already connected i guess no it's not so now we'll just say connect wallet we'll choose metamask we'll choose account 2 next connect and after the after we are done connecting we need to sign in so remember for how i told you that connecting a wallet and signing in is different so let's do that right now now it will ask us to sign this message so that signing in can be done can be possibly done so we can just say sign and now it will successfully load our balances now we are going to say get address from server and this got this address from server so this address is the same if you look at the last four alphabets here you see that our address is same so now you can do a lot of different things using this you can store off chain data like images and everything uh, into your server and authenticate that using this wallet address so yeah uh, because we we do this because in the first place because we cannot really trust the front end side because anyone can manipulate data and act and impersonate as if there are some other wallet address so that's why we do this so yeah that's how you can do sign in with ethereum using third web so i will leave the official documentation in the description below so that you can look at how to implement this in various different backend frameworks if you like this video make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you found some value this will help me grow my channel and help a lot of different people and we are really close to 1000 subscribers so why not subscribe to this channel so yeah that is it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one bye